It's also Friday night. What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 109, Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. It is colder than a motherfucker <laughs> out here. Um, I actually, as soon as I walked out here, I've been fucking fine all day. As soon as I get out here, I sit down and start getting this shit together. My fucking nose starts feeling stuffy. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I know what that is. <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. That probably doesn't mean anything, but... And it's not even, it's like 50, 55, you know, like fucking six months ago, seven months ago, 55 was like, yeah, bitch, t-shirt. Now I'm like, fuck, about to get out the Arbor wear. It's going to be, it's going to be a long motherfucking winter out here. I got to figure something out. I got to try to, I don't know, get one of those fucking, I was just talking about it with, uh, with Nick last week about fucking these little propane fucking blast heaters that fucking if I ran that shit for like 20 minutes out here beforehand it would at least warm it up a little bit but I gotta just stop being a fucking sissy it's it's a little chilly out (laughs) um oh so what else we got what do we got man (laughs) oh shit it's on it's so much new ink men popping up everywhere. Motherfuckers are everywhere. <laughs> it's a fucking it's, it's an epidemic of ink mania. I know I, I was uh I wanted to talk about I forgot I, I can't remember if I if it happened in between then or I forgot to talk about it but that fucking kid. So if you seen the post where it was like something about call me a, it was like a real cunt move <laughs> for me to for me to send shit to fucking Australia to the shop that's there. So first of all, I if I remember correctly, I think I've done a wholesale order to one shop one time for like 10 or 15 pieces, maybe 20 at the most, but I don't even think 20 scribes. And that's it. So the kid who said there was a cunt move for me to fucking send shit down there, he's been begging for fucking, he's a recipe beggar. He's been begging for fucking, I don't know, months. And he was one of the ones that, let me tell you about the business. No, I just I just need the recipe. And, and some of these motherfuckers be delusional at times. <laughs> they say, uh, this is a good one. Even Club Ghoul and them and fucking Rax, they know about this. Um, they'll say like, uh, oh, that's weird. So, my cat scratched the shit out of my finger. And I had this big long line where it was bleeding. And now I'm looking at it and it, it's like basically vanished. It's not even there anymore. Cats are fucking killing machines cut me open like a razor I bleed and now it's disappeared like it never even happened anyway um so th- what and it typically tends to be people that aren't in the United States they say <laughs> we, we oh we are in different countries so so there will be no uh uh conflict you know, there's no competition or what, whatever the fuck, you know, trying to say like, because they're wherever they are, that it's okay for me to give them what, you know, whatever the fuck they're asking for, because, you know, because I, it's not a competition because they're in another country. <laughs> and I'm thinking, so that's what probably made them upset that that this in the shop that had this shit. It's they had that shit for months. It wasn't like 
it wasn't like something had just happened. I, and I think the guy had just reposted it. I think he went, he closed the shop for a minute and then opened it back up. So I just shared the post. So this dude, not only was he way late on the whole thing, but, uh, like, <laughs> Just his whole begging for the recipe right, formula of ingredients, blah blah blah, and is and is justifying it by I live in Australia, so it's, you know, it's, it's, there's not even a, a, a bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I mean, I understand what you're trying to say, like, and, and I guess like. I guess if I did something like, 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 let's just say my, uh, my day to day job, stripping and waxing floors. If I were to teach you how to strip and wax floors the way I've learned and everything I've learned over the past fucking 20 years that I've been stripping and waxing floors and you lived in Australia, it probably wouldn't be, you know, it's not going to affect me at all. But if I give you all the shit that's working for me here so you can do it there and then when I then then people who in who usually order from Australia then they order from you now see now that's affecting me because I do ship to Australia so go fuck yourself so he was mad that I only would give him the the details about how to do business he was mad about that Ooh, but uh Oops, I kicked the fucking thing, sorry. Uh, but then, <laughs> I, I I think I told him, like, I'm, I'm glad you said that or some shit, just because, you know, I wanted to laugh about it with everyone. But what the fuck, man? People are fucking crazy. <laughs> Motherfuckers be crazy, man. Uh, so, but besides that, not I don't really got a whole lot going on. Um... Still trying to source different pigments. Man, talking to some of these fucking places, they're all fucking from... They, there's a serious language barrier and a lot. I don't know what it is with the fucking... Uh, with the language barrier and the fucking... The places with the pigment, man. Like, I, I'm having a hard time. Like, any... um, Anything I find in the U.S. is is, like... Like dealing in, we'll just say, for example, like five, twenty-five, and a hundred grams at a time of a certain pigment, and that's not that's not a lot. Like a, a hundred grams of what I use to make the violet will make two quarts. A hundred, right, right around there, a little more. It will well a little more a hundred plus grams a little bit will make about two quarts. So, it, it when they're selling a hundred grams for fucking ninety five dollars or whatever whatever it is you know the, because the prices I I got a bunch of different pigments I think that one video the one video that I posted just the other day where I'm like stirring up the fucking pigments all together which I normally never do. But I just want to see if it would if it would have any effect. Um, uh, I think there's. Hold on, I can tell you right now. Is that that there's six pigments that go into black number seven, which hasn't been released yet. And I think black six, there was five. Black four, there was six. Anyway, so you get what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, it's easy to fucking... So I need to buy a fucking kilo. I need to get... Like, I think the last time I was buying violet shit, I think I bought five kilos of the pigment. Like 11 something pounds or closer to 12 pounds almost. Now, now that'll last you a little bit. But I don't want to be ordering, you know what I mean? Every fucking two days, 100 grams, 200 grams. You know, I, I, I get to a point where when I'm making something that I want to stick with, I don't want to run out. 
I got. I just don't want to run out. I want to fucking, you know, I want to stay with this shit. I don't want to be ordering, waiting. But so anyway, this all this whole discussion trickled down from. So when I try to go above the the hundred gram sellers to get the thousand gram sellers, now we're talking Europe or Asia or fuck it, whatever. And that's just like a whole fucking separate thing. I'm like alcohol soluble, alcohol side, and they're sending me samples of shit that is not alcohol soluble. I'm like, fuck, man! I waited two weeks for this fucking shit, and it's it's rocked up at the bottom of a little, just a little alcohol. Like that didn't, that, that's not, it didn't work. <laughs> so it's fucking been difficult. But I'm trying to, I want to get some more some different pigments and shit and I really can't wait for I don't know why and it's nothing special but I just really want to make that white alcohol so I can't wait until they hit me with the fucking good to go and I can buy I gotta buy 55 pounds of it (laughs) like what the fuck (laughs) that's their minimum I'm gonna try to be like yo come on son Sell me 25 pounds of it. The 55, what the fuck? What do you even put 55 pounds of anything in? You know what I mean? Like, what what the fuck is that? So I got to figure that shit out. But, uh, hmm, what else do we got? What else do I, what else do I, that's what I have. What else do I got? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, uh, yo, shout out to fucking... To uh, Nick Cook coming out, uh, fucking, and again, make sure you go check out the show if you if you're in Rochester. It's on November first. F- Frank's fucking chop shop. Um, it's gonna be a lot of people there, a lot of a lot of artists that are up on the walls, a lot of photographers and shit. So it looks like it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try to see if I can pop in. Um, I gotta see what's the deal. You know I mean, but um, what the fuck else is going on? I don't know, man. I don't got a whole lot going on. It's been it's been quiet. Um, I was trying to work it out with True Chains, but he was he was a speed demon, speeding in the streets, so he's not gonna be able to come out until after November first. It's gonna be a little fucking chilly. Maybe I could run this thing and. It's it's got a heater in it, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to fucking to get it bumping in here. I don't know. I don't know, man. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what the fuck we can do. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. So you know, not a whole lot new. I feel bad. You know, I've been. I'm trying to get some shit together, but. I just can't fucking get ahead, man. Every time I'm fucking, I feel like I'm starting to get ahead. And I just get back fucking further back. Some dick sucker stole my fucking credit card, too. Try to order up a dating site today. And the fucking Bank of America was like, Oh, are you trying to buy at this dating site? I'm like, what? No. Now I understand what it feels like. See, this is all that, all that years ago of fucking doing all that fuck shit. So now I got to get a new card. They're sending a new card in the fucking mail. I got to fucking change all my online shit. Well, whatever. I just fucking part of it. <sighs> That's just part of it. Uh, I don't really use that card for much. So it's kind of weird like where the fuck it came from, you know. Like how, how that, guy, that one guy got. Because it's, you know, fairly new. It's not fair. Let me see. You're old. But I don't, I don't use it for shit besides fucking postage and uh, postage and uh, Amazon. So I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, I was talking to Mike Dew. I can't wait to get him the fuck out, man. We were talking about some shit. And, and, and when we were talking, he only had a few minutes and we were just like laughing and shit. We were just laughing and fucking talking. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to get him out, man. It'll be fucking hilarious. It's fucking me and him. He's have a lot of fucking fun. Well, I'm probably going to cut this one short, man, because really, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot to uh, 
I don't really got a whole lot to fucking yap about today, as the as the the, the youth generation says, motherfuckers be yapping. Uh, I don't I don't really have a whole lot to yap about. So, tell a motherfucking friend. Shout out to everyone. About to cut it short and fucking go in and get warm. So. Uh, Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I love you. And I'm out of here. Next week, I'll make sure I have some better subject matter. Regardless of what it's going to be about, we're going to talk about that. I'm out of here.